Today's topic, like many others in this blog, covers a subject that's often neglected until it's too late. In this case, that uh-oh moment typically happens hours before your deadline, when you pull music into your project and, to your horror, one of two things happen. The file won't open, or nothing syncs up. When working with a composer, specifying the details of your composer's deliverables is essential to avoid wasting your time and theirs, and helps the final steps of your collaboration run as smoothly as possible. When specifying deliverables, be sure to address the following three terms. Number one, file type. In most cases, you'll benefit from getting both a compressed and uncompressed version of your finished music. Uncompressed files, also known as lossless, maintain the highest quality, but are often large in size and typically come in WAV format. Compressed files are much smaller in size, but do lose some quality as a result, though in most cases, that difference is unnoticeable. Typical compressed files come in MP3 format. When sending deliverables, I typically prepare an uncompressed WAV file and a compressed MP3, as both file types are readable on Windows and Mac computers. Number two, sample rate. Often overlooked until importing the music to your project file, determining sample rate is essential when collecting your deliverables. Getting the audio sample rate incorrect will result in music falling out of sync with the picture in turn forcing the composer to re-export the music and any stems. Ideally, determine the sample rate of your picture by checking your file info before the composer begins their work. This enables them to match their project settings to yours, preventing any last minute issues when it comes time for the deliverables. And number three, stems. Though not always required, stems can be a beneficial deliverable if you intend on mixing the music to picture beyond what the composer has provided. Stems refer to the individual tracks exported by the composer, usually organized by the type of instrument or quality of sound. A typical collection of orchestral stems could include a woodwind track, brass, percussion, and strings, whereas stems of a pop track might be divided into a vocal stem, keys, guitars, synths, and drums. The exporting of stems can take a bit of extra time depending on your composer's setup, so let them know in advance to allow them to best prepare for the exporting process. Now, if you want to take it all one step further, make your expectations on deliverables explicit in your contract with your composer. Outlining your needs clearly in writing before jumping into a project helps your composer start off on the right foot and will most definitely win you some brownie points for your preparedness. If you enjoy the tips for working with composers podcast, be sure to leave a rating. It really helps me out and brings the podcast to more people's ears. And if you have suggestions for new topics, be sure to visit my website, zachheidi.com slash blog and submit your feedback there. You'll also find written versions of this and all of the previous podcasts. Thanks for listening. I'm Zach Heidi, and I'll see you in the next one.